Okay, so, okay, so update. <laughs> this is what it used to look like, okay, before I did anything to it. And this is after a minute and a half of work. I mean, it's, look at the difference in the clarity. It's a mirror. It's brand new. It's completely brand new. I mean, there's some very, very fine, 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 fine. So if I had to go like a couple of, you know, stages down, but look at the difference. That's the original. That's the polished. That's incredible. That really is a huge, huge difference. Wow. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do this now. Move this thing over here. Very simple, very basic. Start with the other guy here. This is gonna be for the uh, kind of fine. You can see if you move in there, it looks way better. And you can see that haze that's there. Um, and be extremely cautious um, when you start getting into these little corners and stuff like that. Again, I'm not taking any responsibility if you guys hook this thing across the room or stab yourself with it, because it can happen. So I've got a little, sorry, I've got a little bit of a scratch doctor still on there, so I'm just going to go ahead and just hit the rest of it and see if we can just remove this hazing and then turn it in different directions just to see if we can do that. There's the original. There's the new. No wet sanding required. I mean, it's still got some very, very fine uh, scratching, but I mean, compared to where it started, look at the middle and the, the side of that versus this. Look at it from far. And that is incredibly reflective. That looks awesome. So, anyways, uh, get yourself a Harbor Freight uh, crappy drill uh, powered ported uh, cuz you're going to want that and then uh, you need some scratch doctor oops that's for the final stage and uh, just use the fine compound you might want to use the coarse if it's really really banged up but uh that's pretty intense i don't know about you but that is a pretty fine result i mean that is incredible so yeah don't have to worry about wet sanding. Just use the first stage of the uh, compound and then the scratch doctor. I mean, look how clear the picture is. So it's like a mirror. Looks even better on the top of it, obviously, because that's where most of the scratch marks don't get. It's at the top and more obviously in this area. And yes, you can still see some hazing, but we're putting on a pretty strong light direct. But from where that was, that looks amazing. That's going to look sick. With the pickups and everything else, I'm going to do the same thing to the body. You see that against the body of the guitar. That's kind of hard. Not really showing the angle here. Take this off. But yeah. That's awesome. Cool. So I'm going to hit the body real quick. Oh, uh, just as a tip, make sure that you clean the body of any kind of grime or any kind of soot that's been building up because that stuff, if it's got any kind of real nasty dirt in it, you can actually start scratching the guitar. So it's kind of productive to do that. But anyways, hope that helps. So all I did was use the uh, scratch doctor and the light buffing wheel for the guitar. And this is the result now. Of course, the real nasty buckle rash is still going to be there, but compared to, if you just look at it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Very high gloss shine. Did all the way around the horns, everything, top. Guitar looks great now. Really, 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 really pretty. So, that was worth it just to throw a little bit of Scratch Doctor on there and just basically buff it off like a wax job for a car. But uh, 
came out beautiful. So, real excited to see. Um, where's that pick guard? Where did I put that guy? Here we go. So, we got this clean guy right there. Let's see how much cleaning all that stuff up made a big difference. You can see still there's a lot of fine scratches compared to the paint. But uh, overall, it looks absolutely amazing. Cool. All right. So we're almost done. We've got to work on the neck next, and then that'll be about it. Reassembly. Perfect. Put my little uh, signature in here so it knows that I actually did this to this guitar. So if anybody ever sees this one day, they will know I did it. That's right. So that's pretty gangsta. Now to put it together. I've got to put the tremolo on there. I've got to lock that bridge. Uh, and then string it up, intonate it, rock and roll. That is an outstanding result. I left some things in the background just so you could see how incredible that finish came out. It's like a mirror. Everything just looks outstanding. Absolutely gorgeous. Pretty groovy. Just got an intonator and that's it. We're good to go.